Dear viewer, you will find a quiz somewhere on today's video, and we would greatly appreciate if you kindly write your answer in comment box. Let's start today's class. Have you ever sold or smuggled controlled substances, illegal drugs, or narcotics? Have you ever sold or smuggled controlled substances, illegal drugs, or narcotics? This sentence is asking, if you have ever engaged yourself in the sale or transportation of drugs, that are considered illegal or controlled substances. Have you ever sold or smuggled controlled substances, illegal drugs, or narcotics? No. Have you ever been court-martialed, administratively separated, or disciplined? Or have you received an other than honorable discharge while in the U.S. Armed Forces? Have you ever been court-martialed, administratively separated, or disciplined? Or have you received an other than honorable discharge while in the U.S. Armed Forces? The question is asking, if you have been subject to certain forms of disciplinary action, or received a specific type of discharge from the military while you were in the U.S. Armed Forces. Have you ever been court-martialed, administratively separated, or disciplined, or have you received an other than honorable discharge while in the U.S. Armed Forces? No. Have you called yourself a non-U.S. resident on a federal, state, or local tax return since you became a lawful permanent resident? Have you called yourself a non-U.S. resident on a federal, state, or local tax return since you became a lawful permanent resident? The sentence is asking if you have ever identified yourself as a non-U.S. resident on a tax return at any level of government since you were granted the right to live and work in the United States on a permanent basis. No. Have you ever been placed in removal, exclusion, rescission, or deportation proceedings? Have you ever been placed in removal, exclusion, rescission, or deportation proceedings? This sentence is asking if you have ever been involved in legal proceedings initiated by the U.S. government that could lead to their removal, exclusion, rescission, or deportation from the United States. Have you ever been placed in removal, exclusion, rescission, or deportation proceedings? No. Have you ever deserted from the U.S. Armed Forces? Have you ever deserted from the U.S. Armed Forces? This sentence is asking, if you have ever deserted from the U.S. Armed Forces, either during a time of conflict or during peacetime. Have you ever deserted from the U.S. Armed Forces? No. Have you ever served in the U.S. Armed Forces? Have you ever served in the U.S. Armed Forces? This sentence is asking if you have ever been a member of the United States military. Have you ever served in the U.S. Armed Forces? No.
If the law requires it, are you willing to bear arms on behalf of the United States? If the law requires it, are you willing to bear arms on behalf of the United States? This question is asking, if you are willing to take up arms and fight for the United States if required by law. If the law requires it, are you willing to bear arms on behalf of the United States? Yes. Have you ever committed, assisted in committing, or attempted to commit a crime or offense for which you were not arrested? Have you ever committed, assisted in committing, or attempted to commit a crime or offense for which you were not arrested? This sentence is asking if you have ever engaged in any illegal activities or offenses for which you were not caught or arrested. Have you ever committed, assisted in committing, or attempted to commit a crime or offense for which you were not arrested? No. Have you ever married someone in order to obtain an immigration benefit? Have you ever married someone in order to obtain an immigration benefit? This sentence is asking, if you have ever entered into a marriage solely for the purpose of obtaining an immigration benefit, such as the right to live and work in a country you are not a citizen of. Have you ever married someone in order to obtain an immigration benefit? No. Were you ever a member of, or did you ever serve in, help, or otherwise participate in a police unit? Were you ever a member of, or did you ever serve in, help, or otherwise participate in a police unit? The sentence is asking if you have ever worked as a police officer, been a member of a police department or unit, or provided any form of assistance to the police. Were you ever a member of, or did you ever serve in, help, or otherwise participate in a police unit? No. Were you ever a member of, or did you ever serve in, help, or otherwise participate in a self-defense unit? Were you ever a member of, or did you ever serve in, help, or otherwise participate in a self-defense unit? The sentence is asking if you have ever been a member of, or participated in a group that teaches self-defense techniques or provides protection services to others. Were you ever a member of, or did you ever serve in, help, or otherwise participate in a self-defense unit? No. Were you ever a member of, or did you ever serve in, help, or otherwise participate in a guerrilla group? Were you ever a member of, or did you ever serve in, help, or otherwise participate in a guerrilla group? The sentence is asking if you have ever been involved in a group that uses weapons or other violent means to attack the military, police, government, or other people. Guerrilla groups are often formed in response to perceived injustices or grievances and typically seek to undermine or overthrow the established government or authority. 
Were you ever a member of, or did you ever serve in, help, or otherwise participate in a guerrilla group? No. Were you ever involved in any way with badly hurting, or trying to hurt, a person on purpose? Were you ever involved in any way with badly hurting, or trying to hurt, a person on purpose? The sentence is asking if you have ever been involved in any way with intentionally causing serious harm to another person, or attempting to do so. This can include direct participation in the act of violence, as well as any indirect involvement such as providing support, resources, or encouragement to those engaged in such acts. Were you ever involved in any way with badly hurting, or trying to hurt, a person on purpose? No. Were you ever involved in any way with forcing, or trying to force, someone to have any kind of sexual contact or relations? Were you ever involved in any way with forcing, or trying to force, someone to have any kind of sexual contact or relations? The sentence is asking if you have ever been involved in any way with forcing or attempting to force another person to engage in sexual contact or relations without their consent. This can include direct participation in the act of sexual assault, as well as any indirect involvement such as providing support, resources, or encouragement to those engaged in such acts. Were you ever involved in any way with forcing, or trying to force, someone to have any kind of sexual contact or relations? No. Excuse me, would you mind answering today's quiz? We would greatly appreciate if you kindly write your answer in comment box. Let's know today's quiz. Have you ever been placed in removal, exclusion, rescission, or deportation proceedings? Have you ever been placed in removal, exclusion, rescission, or deportation proceedings? Have you ever been a member of, involved in, or in any way associated with any organization, association, fund, foundation, party, club? society, or similar group in the United States or in any other location in the world? Have you ever been a member of, involved in, or in any way associated with any organization, association, fund, foundation, party, club, society, or similar group in the United States or in any other location in the world? The sentence is asking if you have had any involvement or affiliation with any group or organization or similar group either in the United States or elsewhere in the world. Have you ever been a member of, involved in, or in any way associated with any organization, association, fund, foundation, party, club? society, or similar group in the United States or in any other location in the world? No. Have you ever been charged with committing, attempting to commit, or assisting in committing a crime or offense? Have you ever been charged with committing, attempting to commit, or assisting in committing a crime or offense? This sentence is asking, if you have ever been formally charged in your lifetime with a criminal offense, or accused of attempting to commit, or assisting in the commission of a crime or offense. Have you ever been charged with committing, 
attempting to commit, or assisting in committing a crime or offense? No. Have you ever been a member of, or in any way associated, either directly or indirectly with a terrorist organization? Have you ever been a member of, or in any way associated, either directly or indirectly with a terrorist organization? The sentence is asking if you have ever been affiliated with a terrorist organization, either directly or indirectly. This can include formal membership, as well as any other form of support or association with the organization, such as providing financial or material support, participating in its activities, or promoting its ideology. Have you ever been a member of, or in any way associated, either directly or indirectly with a terrorist organization? No. Were you ever a member of, or did you ever serve in, help, or otherwise participate in, a paramilitary unit? Were you ever a member of, or did you ever serve in, help, or otherwise participate in, a paramilitary unit? The sentence is asking if you have ever been a part of an organization that is not part of the official military but has military-style training, organization, and objectives. Were you ever a member of, or did you ever serve in, help, or otherwise participate in, a paramilitary unit? No. Are you a male who lived in the United States at any time between your 18th and 26th birthday? Are you a male who lived in the United States at any time between your 18th and 26th birthday? No. Did you ever recruit, enlist, conscript, or use any person under 15 years of age to serve in or help an armed force or group? Did you ever recruit, enlist, conscript, or use any person under 15 years of age to serve in or help an armed force or group? This sentence is asking if you have ever sought to involve or use an individual under the age of 15, to serve or assist in an armed force or group? Did you ever recruit, enlist, conscript, or use any person under 15 years of age to serve in or help an armed force or group? No. Were you ever involved in any way with not letting someone practice his or her religion? Were you ever involved in any way with not letting someone practice his or her religion? The sentence is asking if you have ever been involved in any way with preventing or attempting to prevent another person from practicing their religion. This can include direct actions such as physical obstruction, violence, or destruction of religious property, or indirect actions, such as supporting policies or practices that limit a person's ability to practice his or her religion freely. Were you ever involved in any way with not letting someone practice his or her religion? No. Have you ever left the United States to avoid being drafted in the U.S. Armed Forces? 
Have you ever left the United States to avoid being drafted in the U.S. Armed Forces? This sentence is asking, if you have ever left the United States in an attempt to avoid being drafted into the U.S. military. Have you ever left the United States to avoid being drafted in the U.S. Armed Forces? No. Do you now have, or did you ever have, a hereditary title or an order of nobility in any foreign country? Do you now have, or did you ever have, a hereditary title or an order of nobility in any foreign country? The sentence is asking, whether you currently hold, or have ever held a hereditary title, or order of nobility in any foreign country. Do you now have, or did you ever have, a hereditary title or an order of nobility in any foreign country? No. Have you ever been declared legally incompetent or been confined to a mental institution? Have you ever been declared legally incompetent or been confined to a mental institution? The sentence is asking if you have ever had a significant mental health issue that has resulted being deemed legally incompetent or requiring hospitalization. Have you ever been declared legally incompetent or been confined to a mental institution? No. Have you ever been a habitual drunkard? Have you ever been a habitual drunkard? This sentence is asking, if you have ever had a long-term habit of drinking alcohol excessively or regularly to the point of it being problematic. Have you ever been a habitual drunkard? No. Have you ever been discharged from training or service in the U.S. Armed Forces because you were an alien? Have you ever been discharged from training or service in the U.S. Armed Forces because you were an alien? This sentence is asking, if you have ever been discharged from the military during your training or service, specifically because of your status as an alien. Have you ever been discharged from training or service in the U.S. Armed Forces because you were an alien? No. Were you ever a member of, or did you ever serve in, help, or otherwise participate in, a military unit? Were you ever a member of, or did you ever serve in, help, or otherwise participate in, a military unit? The sentence is asking if you have ever been in the military, or worked with the military in any capacity either in a professional or voluntary role. Were you ever a member of, or did you ever serve in, help, or otherwise participate in, a military unit? No. Have you ever advocated, either directly, or indirectly the overthrow of any government by force or violence? Have you ever advocated, either directly or indirectly the overthrow of any government by force or violence? 
The sentence is asking if you have ever expressed support for, promoted, or advocated the use of force or violence to overthrow a government either directly or indirectly. This can include making statements, writing articles or essays, participating in demonstrations or protests, or supporting organizations that promote violent overthrow. Have you ever advocated, either directly or indirectly, the overthrow of any government by force or violence? No. Do you owe any overdue federal, state, or local taxes? Do you owe any overdue federal, state, or local taxes? The sentence is asking if you have not paid the full amount of taxes to the federal government, state government, or local government they owe by the due date. Do you owe any overdue federal, state, or local taxes? No. Have you ever gambled illegally or received income from illegal gambling? Have you ever gambled illegally or received income from illegal gambling? This sentence is asking if you have ever engaged in gambling activities that are considered illegal or has received money or other benefits from such activities. Have you ever gambled illegally or received income from illegal gambling? No. Were you ever a worker, volunteer, or soldier, or did you otherwise ever serve in a prison or jail? Were you ever a worker, volunteer, or soldier, or did you otherwise ever serve in a prison or jail? The sentence is asking if you have ever worked, volunteered, or served as a soldier in a prison or jail or has served time in a prison or jail. It includes any type of work or service within a prison or jail, such as a guard, counselor, or administrative staff. Were you ever a worker, volunteer, or soldier, or did you otherwise ever serve in a prison or jail? No. Were you ever a worker, volunteer, or soldier, or did you otherwise ever serve in a detention facility? Were you ever a worker, volunteer, or soldier, or did you otherwise ever serve in a detention facility? The sentence is asking if you have ever worked, volunteered, or served as a soldier in any type of detention facility or has been held in such a facility at any point in your life. Were you ever a worker, volunteer, or soldier, or did you otherwise ever serve in a detention facility? No. Excuse me, would you mind answering today's quiz? We would greatly appreciate if you kindly write your answer in comment box. Let's know today's quiz. Do you now have, or did you ever have, a hereditary title or an order of nobility in any foreign country? Do you now have, or did you ever have, a hereditary title or an order of nobility in any foreign country? Have you ever been a member of, or in any way associated, either directly, or indirectly with the Communist Party? Have you ever been a member of, or in any way associated, either directly, 
or indirectly with the Communist Party. The sentence is asking if you have ever been affiliated with the Communist Party, either directly or indirectly. This can include formal membership, as well as any other form of support or association with the party, such as attending meetings, donating money, or expressing support for its ideology. Have you ever been a member of, or in any way associated, either directly or indirectly with the Communist Party? No. Were you ever involved in any way with torture? Were you ever involved in any way with torture? The sentence is asking if you have ever in your lifetime been involved in any way with acts of torture. This can include direct participation in the commission of torture, as well as any indirect involvement, such as providing support, resources, or encouragement to those engaged in torture. Were you ever involved in any way with torture? No. Have you ever given any U.S. government officials any information or documentation that was false, fraudulent, or misleading? Have you ever given any U.S. government officials any information or documentation that was false, fraudulent, or misleading? This sentence is asking if you have ever provided any false, fraudulent, or misleading information or documents to any government official or agency in the United States. Have you ever given any U.S. government officials any information or documentation that was false, fraudulent, or misleading? No. Have you ever voted in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? Have you ever voted in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? The sentence is asking if you have ever participated in any federal, state, or local election in the United States by casting a vote. Have you ever voted in any federal, state, or local election in the United States?